Hey, this is Richard Barone, and you're listening to No Good Music. Music. And okay, revolution. okay, good. Oh, you got it there too. Music yeah. and revolution. Yeah, of course. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm just. I have to you. say, I didn't have time to read the book, and um, mm -hmm. but you will, you should, and you will. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> I did. I did go through it a little bit, but there's so much information in that book, and yeah, let yep. tell us about the. But, oh, no, I was just going to say for our listeners, we keep saying the book, the book, but yeah, so music. And Revolution, Greenwich Village in the 1960s by mm -hmm. Richard yeah. Barone. Correct. I just want to say that all there for yeah, people yeah. Good. <laughs> listening to it. That's the name of it. That's It's yeah. important that this full title because that is specifically about, it's about Greenwich Village in the 1960s. Very, very specifically mm -hmm. why and why this was important. Like why does it matter? This I think this book lays out why it matters. Uh, so tell us why like it I've matters. I've never really seen yeah <laughs> well, so tell us why I mean, it matters one thing, a... go ahead <laughs> yeah my pleasure i you know i live i've lived in greenwich village for a long time but i never really i didn't understand all of the history really i didn't understand because for one thing when i first moved here i was on tour with the bongos all the time mm -hmm. yeah. and so i i never was really here really i just mm -hmm. I, I kept my stuff here yeah and then and then when I really spent more time, I, you know, just walking the streets, I could sense, I could sense the history. This book is also about sensing things and feeling. Things. It's about how things feel. And I could feel that something happened on these streets when I was walking. You know, I knew, I knew that something happened. And of course, mm -hmm. it's in our, it's, if you're in the music, if you love the music industry and if you love uh, popular music, then you know that something happened here in the 60s because Jimi Hendrix was here mm -hmm. and Bob Dylan was here. Right. And uh, just so many, Richie Havens and so many others, this is where they lived and performed and all within a very small space, a very small radius of a few mm -hmm. blocks. And so for those who are taken. younger, for the younger generation, just to be clear, this is in New York City. This is lower Manhattan. I'm just. Well, this I, is in the lower half of Manhattan. Yeah. yeah lower uh, half. Yeah. Of and Manhattan. of course. Of course, the book is written not for old people. The book is written <laughs> yeah. for young people. Right. The book is written for my students, and it's written for young readers. That's the whole idea of this book. It's not really to, for, to tell somebody something they already know. Mm -hmm. It's to teach about a history that should not be ignored. Yes. And mm -hmm. it, Greenwich Village never really gets the recognition that other places do like Chicago, the blues scene in Chicago or the Seattle grunge scene. Get, mm -hmm. They all get a lot of love. But Greenwich Village was really the instigator of a lot of that, because this is where this is at that point in the 60s is when artists took control of the music industry. You have to realize how important that was when artists demanded on recording their own songs that they wrote mm -hmm. instead yeah. of being handed material. Think of how sim just that simple thought, that idea was groundbreaking that the record label no longer gets say okay here's 12 songs you're going to do we're going to record for your album that's how it used to be yeah when they would and they would often get the songs from the brill building or the song factories that would crank out songs for you right, or right. you would cover songs from broad you would cover songs from broadway shows even the beatles did songs from the music man or you know mm -hmm. the, it was very common to not write your own music music yeah. okay right, right. in I england think, the, Beatles, think... the beatles yeah, and I think and I think Go there's ahead. a lot of people who don't even know that who don't know that in the mid '60s there would be someone uh, maybe in you know maybe in Memphis but s somewhere I'm, that's where I'm picturing uh, where this is the song that you're going to sing you're a singer mm -hmm. and this yeah. is the band you're going to play with go it's not and and there have been people who said well actually uh, I really wanted to to sing this song no <laughs> you know they just said this is what you're singing. This is your band. You yeah. don't know them, but go ahead and sing to them anyway. You don't never. Met I think them. most notably was Motown. Yeah, you know that hit. Well, yeah, but but yeah. Motown. Those are singer. Yeah, those are singing groups. Those were vocal groups. Yeah. Like it's a little. It's different. I certainly don't. I mean, that is one of some of the best pop music I've ever made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but the Motown groups were vocal groups, so they were quite. That was the way they worked. Like this. Okay, we're gonna get this song. You know, and. They were. Uh, they had great songwriters. It was a team. Mm -hmm. That was a big team effort. That's yeah, different. Yeah, okay. yeah. This, the, the, and you know, and but they, an artist like Stevie Wonder in Motown, definitely had his eye on Greenwich Village, and really right away covered "Blown in the Wind" by Bob Dylan. And he was, mm -hmm. he must have been, uh, Stevie must have been, a, 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 not even a, I think maybe fifteen years old when he wow. recovered, recorded yeah. "Blown in the Wind." Yeah. You know? yeah. So you know, he had his eye. They had their. The, 
Greenwich Village became a source of new material too for Motown and others. And also inspired like, uh, I'm not sure what label uh, Sam Cooke was on. He was very inspired by say, Blown in the Wind, the King of the Village, enough to write uh, A Change Is Gonna Come. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this, so this started, there was like a wave of, uh, of creativity and not just creativity, but also writing songs with a message that started in Greenwich Village right. here, started here. Why did it start here? That's what the book is.